Hi, this video is to show you how to deal with missing data using the SPSX software when running regressions. Now, if you look at my data on the screen, you could find that some data points are missing, uh, such as these data points that are missing here. And if you go through the whole uh, of these variables, you find that some data are missing at different points. And to deal with this running a regression, go to analyze and your regression, your linear regression, um, the independent variable, which I took from the list of this variable here, and then the independent variable, which I took from the list of the variables here. Now to deal with the missing data, simply go to the options, and then you could add on deal with the missing data using the least wise method or the pen wise method or you use the imputation method so there are theoretical support for each of these methods which you need to read in order to support your justification for using any of these methods now if i look at the least wise method simply click choose that option continue on and then click ok so that excludes the uh, MITI data in the regression. I could also choose to use the um, pairwise method following the same steps which I use for the listwise. Uh, simply choose exclude the um, MITI data using the pairwise, which is going to exclude all the data points across the variables, both the dependent and the independent variable. Say so continue and then click OK. So again, this this with the missing data by excluding those missing data. Or you could simply not exclude the, miss, the missing data by using imputation methods. So what the SPSS does is to replace those missing data using uh, imputation approach by replacing the missing data using the meal of other data that are available. So this is very similar to you actually calculating the, miss, the uh, missing data, the, the meal of the missing data using the imputation approach. So now if you use that approach again, uh, the same process and then you run your regression. So, if you use any of this method, uh, my recommendation is that you must have good justification for using this method and your theoretical support must be uh, well accepted in literature. 